I was saying that as I was recording the perfect, beautiful moment. The little short dude, I love her, <laughs> kept getting in my way as the taller dude, his little helper friend, was just looking at me and looking at him, doing nothing, saying nothing about it. Like, ooh, disrespectful. So, I have five tips here for you. Five ways in which you can handle selfish photographers. So what do I mean by selfish photographers? By selfish photographers, I mean like, you know, photographers who are not letting you, you know, film, who are getting in your way and who feel like they're the, um, like the pro there or they're like they have the first shot and you don't have any shots. And uh, pretty much like uh, photographers who treat you like you were just somebody in the guests, in the, in the audience who is not getting paid to do what you are doing. You guys need to also be considerate of the other vendors. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about selfish photographers. I talked about selfish DJs in one of my videos, it's on the channel, but in this one, we're gonna talk about selfish photographers, photographers who are not considerate of the videographers, okay guys? So these are the five ways that you can deal with these types of um, individuals, okay guys? So let's get going. Tip number one in how to deal with these people is get your shots in. So steal their shots, get your shots in. So by get your shots in, I mean, of course, filming, right? But like while the photographer is posing them and, you know, trying to do this, do that, be getting your shots in. While the bride is like uh, maybe not even ready for the pictures and doing a makeup or doing whatever, get those shots in. Because sometimes when the photographers get the couple, they keep them to themselves, okay? And then when they're done and they're satisfied, then they wanna throw the bride back to you, right? When you only have like five minutes left till the next um, moment or whatever. Work around the photographer. If, you, if he's not letting you do your thing or she's not letting you do your thing, just work around them. Okay guys, just run circles around them. Like I have a whole video dedicated to how you can steal shots from photographers. It's on my channel and I'll probably link it below here, but um, yeah. So I have a whole video, detailed video, and how you can steal shots from photographers. So number one is get your, steal your shots from these photographers while they're doing their thing, okay? So that's tip number one. Tip number two is try to work with them, okay? So if they're being selfish, like, you know, kind of like play the bigger if person. If a fool and a wise man are arguing and they're out there, if from somebody who's looking out, you're not gonna know who the fool is and who the wise man is because they're all gonna be arguing and all looking stupid from afar, right? So be the bigger person. Just don't, you know, don't get even with them. Be the bigger person. Try and work with them. You know, try and be understanding, okay? Um, that's at first though. If, you know, if they're, like, they're not trying to, you know, work with you, then, like, um, decide what you're gonna do. But first, try and, like, you know, Try and kind of like read how the person is acting, like read their attitude, read their personality, and then try and work with them. Try and be the bigger person, okay? Because sometimes, like you don't want to just get there and assume this person is this way and that way. So first, like try and get a feel of their attitude, of their personality, so that way you can know how to work with them or work, you know, around them, okay guys? So try to work with them. That's tip number two. Tip number three is let them know that you are getting paid to be there. So it means the couple wants you to capture the event, okay? Let them know you're getting paid to be there. If they start getting even with you or try and act a certain way, tell them like, hey, excuse me, I'm getting paid as well to be here. So, you know, the fact that I'm getting paid, the couple wants me to do my job. Okay, so let them know, like, I'm getting paid to be here. You're not the only person getting paid. I'm getting paid to be here. If I wasn't getting paid, I wouldn't be here. So this couple wants me, it's important to them that I'm here doing this for them. Because if they didn't want me here, they wouldn't pay me to be here. It's a lot of money they're paying me here. You know what I mean? So let me do my thing. I'm respecting you. You're capturing your pictures. You're doing your thing. But also give me time. Respect me. Let me do my thing. Let me do what I came here to do, what I got, what I'm getting paid to do. Because if this work doesn't get done, you know, I'm going to get blamed for it, not you. So let's try and work together here because you're getting paid and I'm respecting you. 
and I'm getting paid. So you have to respect me because respect goes both ways. But don't come at it that way. But if the photographer starts kind of getting, you know, even with you or like you being the bigger person and the photographer is like kind of like low key being an asshole, like tell him like, yo, I'm getting paid to be here. You know what I mean? I'm supposed to do this. I'm, I'm getting paid to be here. So respect me over here because I'm respecting you. Okay, so yeah, let them know you're getting paid to be there. So number four is um, don't let them treat you like you're the second shooter and your shots come second to theirs. Okay, guys, don't let them treat you like a second shooter of theirs. You are not their second shooter. You are not the photographer's second shooter. Okay, you are your first shooter. You are the first shooter for the weddings. Okay, guys, so act like it. Act like you're somebody. Act like you're getting paid to be there. Act like, you know, you're a business owner. You know what I mean? Act like, you know, you are important because you are. That's why you are there. That's why they paid you to be there. Stop acting like somebody's second shooter. Stop just like, you know, um, listening to everything the photographer is telling you. Stop acting like you're getting paid by the photographer, okay? You are getting paid by the bride, okay? You have a contract with the bride, not with the photographer, you don't have a contract with anybody else there but the, uh, the, the couple, okay? And sometimes maybe the venue or whatever the case, but your contract is with the couple. So your loyalty is to the couple, okay? Unless the couple says, oh, don't do this or don't whatever, whatever. Uh, around this time, don't get in the way of the photographer or this and that. They give you instructions, then, you know, abide by those instructions and, and uh, respect them and yield to those instructions. But other than that, um, you have to, you know, try and get your shots. You know, you have, don't act like, you know, don't just be pushed to the side and don't try and act like you are being employed by the photographer. Like the photographer is the boss of you. Don't let them be the boss of you. Because some photographers do that. Once they notice that, okay, you, you are being to, you know, you are being their yes person or you're agreeing to everything they say and doing everything they say, they start treating you as if they're paying you to be there. You know, they start treating you as if they're the reason you're there and like as if you're their second shooter. Let them know that you're not their second shooter and don't act like they're second shooter. Don't be there and be like, oh no, whatever you wanna do, uh, Mrs. Photographer, whatever you wanna do, you know, I'll just work around you. I'll just take shots as you do your thing. You need to know these things, okay? You have a lot of time before the wedding. You need to do your research, you need to do, that's why this channel is like my channel here. So you can learn how to pause couples, you can learn how to talk to couples, you can learn a lot of things, how to be creative. So do your research on those things. So when you go to a wedding, you act like you know what you're doing. You know, you act like you're a professional. Even if you're a beginner, just act like you're a pro. Beautiful. And then whatever you need you to do. <laughs> don't go there you don't know what you're doing and then you're getting paid a lot of money and then you mess shit up because you didn't do your research because you're watching netflix instead of watching freaking videos like this or videos like some tony northrump type videos you know like you need to do your research stop being lazy so um the last tip guys Tip number five, okay, the last tip, tip number five is call them out in the presence of the bride, okay? So the couple can know that you did your best um, and will therefore understand when you later bring it up and uh, post the wedding. So what I mean is uh, call the attention of how the photographer is acting to the bride and groom. Okay, so this is kind of a last result. That's why it's number five. So when the photographer keeps tripping and whatever, not letting you get your time and blah, 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 hugging the couple or hugging this, hugging that, whatever, treating you like some type of way, call them out in the presence of the bride and groom, okay? If they keep acting that way, call them out in the presence of the bride and groom. Be like, oh man, can I get some shots in at least? You know, like you just keep getting all the shots, man, you're not giving me any time. I mean, I know the couple want me to take some of these stuff. You know, they saw my work. That's why they want me here. So let me get some shots in, man. Because, I mean, if I can't get my shots in, then the highlight video is not going to look as good as the couple wants it. Don't you think, let's say the bride's name is Alicia. Don't you think, Alicia? 
I got to get some shots in, right? She'll be like, yeah, 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 whatever you want, blah, blah. But call, you know, call them out in the presence of the bride and groom. So that way the bride and groom later on, if you missed some shots or if you didn't get what you wanted to get because the photographer was being a d just like tell him like, remember when I was telling the photographer this and that? It's because she or he kept like, you know, they kept getting in my way and they didn't want to let me do anything. So that's the last resort, like call them out in the presence of the bride and groom. So that way, if they got something to say, they're going to say it. Finish him. They're going to kind of like, you know, back off and be like, okay, you know what? This person is pissed off. So let him, you know, they're pissed off. Like, yeah, I would rather, I'm not working for you. I'm working for me. You know, I'm trying to get my shots in. I'm letting you get your shots in. Let me get my shots in. You know, stop being greedy and selfish and stingy. All those words mean the same thing. So, you know, stop doing the same thing. Well, you know, I mean, I'm not Takashi. Of course, I'm not on some federal shit here. But, you know, like, you know, stop, you know, let me do my thing as well. Because I'm getting paid to be here and make the best out of this day for this couple. So respect that. You know what I mean? Let me work. Let me do my work. I'm letting you do your work. Let me do my work. So that's the last resort, guys. Call them out in the presence of the bride and groom so they know that you're serious. And so the bride and groom also know that, okay, I think this has been going on for a while for this, to ha for this person to call this person out. Or things are kind of like the tension is building here. So maybe the bride and groom can come and throw some ice in there. But call them out in the presence of the bride and groom so they can know that, you know, you are done with their selfish ways. So those are the five tips, guys. Those are the five ways in how you can deal with selfish photographers.